Cardinals Flight Plan with head coach Bruce Arians is brought to you in part by Dignity Health, Hello Human Kindness, and by Copper Point Mutual, at work for you. Now, more with Ron Wolfley and head coach Bruce Arians. All right, coach, uh, going a little bit deeper into the Broncos game here, what are your concerns as they stand right now? Well, it's uh, it's overall depth of our football team right now. You know, we've, we've stood some injuries, and right now we, we don't need any more, for sure. But it's getting all the younger players up to speed who are going to start and play and, and know what's expected of them and get them in a position to be successful. Have you ever gone into a game where any one of three quarterbacks could be your starter? No, I've gone through four quarterbacks in a season. We just happened to go to the Super Bowl that year. But, uh, no, this is a new one. It's got to make preparation dang near impossible. Well, you, you, you formulate a game plan that hopefully all three can simulate and, and win with. And, uh, you know, it could be a little simpler for Carson and Drew, which sometimes is good, you know, so that Logan can, can handle it. What about the running game? How did you feel about the running game up in Denver? I, I thought it was pitiful. Um, you know, we had so many times second and ten, we let Logan throw balls and we were incomplete. And we needed to get back into third and six or less. And we ended up in third and 12, third and 11, losing yards and basic running plays that we had been successful on all, the whole game. That was, that was the most disappointing part of the whole game. Andre Ellington had a nice game catching the ball, though, coming out of the backfield. Was that a point of emphasis going in? Well, he's, you know, his foot's healthy. Uh, it's not 100%. But we're able to use him some more in, in the situations we had practiced all, all year for. And that was probably the biggest offensive injury coming into the first month of the season was not being able to do all the things we practiced for him. B.A., do you feel like you're getting Andre Ellington the ball enough? Or would you like to get it to him even more? I, I'd like to give five more touches. He touched it 20 times, I think. It had, what, 140-some, 50 yards. But we need, to, we need those breakout runs and get him some more space. We were close again a couple of times. But uh, you know, 20 to 25 is, is his number. Can you evaluate Drew Stanton and his play and how he played against Denver? I thought Drew was playing outstanding. Might be his best game. You know, we would drop I don't know how many balls on him and uh, perfectly thrown balls that, that were, you know, one was a touchdown, the other could have been a touchdown. So, I mean, those, those are the plays we've got to make for our quarterbacks, no matter who's playing quarterback. Was there any theory, any theory you had whatsoever as to why all the drops in this game? As I think guys wanted to a little bit too hard, you know, it was one of those things that if you call it lack of concentration, but they're trying to make a play, just catch the ball and run. You learned that in high school. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we're trying to run and go make something happen. Uh, John Brown, I've seen him make that catch. The wind was taking the ball back over his shoulder. And, uh, but you got to make that play. Yeah. You know, Logan Thomas, of course, got to play in the fourth quarter here in the sample size isn't big, but what did you think of Logan out of the little you saw? I, it wasn't too big for him. I, I thought he had reasons for what he was doing. He was calm on the sideline. Uh, he obviously threw a great pass in there to Andre, and, and we need some more out of that. But he had a couple of balls, easy throws. His feet and eyes were moving in the wrong spots, and he was inaccurate with a couple of those. And get him settled down, he'll be fine. Defensively, who will be the next man up for Calais Campbell? And Matt Shaughnessy, a guy you lost as well to well, the IR, designated to return. Matt is easy. That'd be Alex Okafor right now. And, uh, and he and Sam, Lorenzo, uh, Tommy Kaiser, those guys will all rotate. Uh, the defensive line will be a more rotational thing. You know, uh, Kareem can come in and play in some passing situations. Eddie Stinson is ready to play some more. Dan Williams can play some end. So we've got enough bodies. Uh, it's time for Ameda to step in there and start playing like he did last year and coming off that injury. So, um, yeah, we've got enough bodies. Denver had a lot of big plays in this game offensively, and a lot of times that's either due to poor tackling or some type of mental error. Which one was it, or was it a combination of both against Denver? Well, the running plays were mental errors. You know, we had, I think they had four yards rushing in the first half and 90 in the second when we were out of our gaps a few times and, and gave them easy runs. Uh, the run after catch was a speed factor. You know, when you're playing man to man and you can't catch your guy, he's gonna mm -hmm. run for a while. And uh, so we need to tighten up our man coverage and, and be a little bit closer to him. How did you think the secondary played overall? I uh, think it was obviously our, some of them's poorest game in a long time. And uh, you know, we met some matchups that didn't go our way and, and the guys got a battle back and fight through that. 
Still to come, a look at Sunday's opponent, the Washington Redskins. But first, Rashad Johnson, Wired for Sound. Next, on Cardinals Flight Plan, presented by Dignity Health.